wasting some time here with an update uh, video and we are on 6.4 uh, as an update it's, it's all right I mean we're we're getting the uh, the baguettes are here the baguettes are here it's not uh, too exciting really um, so the French ships uh, like cruisers are here I think some of the the, the top tier ones could be kind of interesting obviously I'm not there yet I've only been able to play a little bit uh, having actually a bit of time right now to make a video which is kind of rare for me I'm the only person in the house it's amazing um, but we have the Bougainville and that's the baguette obviously uh, and a whole slew of other ships I, I kind of like that they are they're a bit different they have the speed boost once you get up to, to higher tiers uh, I believe it's tier 5 or tier 6 if I recall correctly um, yeah, tier six starts with the uh, the engine boost. It's it's a neat mechanic and it's nice and long. It's a minute, no, three minutes, I think, uh, if I recall correctly. Uh, I'm going to stop saying that. Of course, I remember everything uh, right the first time. Let's go ahead and open these up. Tier one ship. It's it's basically just terrible. I mean, you can he other uh, baguettes with uh, not he. You can citadel other baguettes with uh, he, which is just silly. Although the Black Swan, I think, probably still reigns supreme at the uh, Tier 1 slot. Um, I'm not really going to go too much into the French cruisers. I, I like that they added them. There's a train right there. That's actually kind of cool. Um, obviously, that we have the new port, which I like. I think it's really cool. I really wish they would do something uh, nice, like have like a free cam in the port. But that's just me. If we can already do that, let me know how, because that would be pretty awesome. So the French ships are here. Uh, I mean, they have good torpedoes and are supposedly are torpedo angles uh, and torpedo protection. So, yeah, ideally, you don't want to be hit by torpedoes when you're in a little cruiser. Uh, more importantly, let's go ahead and go get into the tech tree. They've done some things to the Karabrowski. Uh, where's the rudder shift time? Good lord, they just, uh, 11 seconds. Uh, obviously you can, uh, mitigate that with some, uh, some items, man. Goodness, that's just 11 seconds for a destroyer. Uh, these things are gonna turn like cruisers now. Worse than, actually, uh, a lot of cruisers. Let's go hop into a random cruiser. Dimitri Donskoy, what's its turn time? Almost the same. <laughs> Uh, let's let's make sure uh, I don't have the no don't have the rudder shift I do have the rudder shift on this, but still it's just kind of silly I I really don't think uh, that was the right way to nerf the Kabrovsky I think the buff to the Russian HE was a bit much but you know hey I am enjoying the fruits of that too the New Orleans let's see if we can find it here probably just easier to go get to the tech tree with it I'm excited about what they did for some of these uh, the cruisers man the detection range on the New Orleans and the Baltimore I believe or is just New Orleans anyways it's been reduced we're gonna get some sneaky uh, sneaky cruiser action which I am always a fan of I really like that I don't think this guy has concealment expert but it's already fairly low yeah this is a noob captain that I just stopped tossed in there to have it uh, full anyways um, I do have the equipment and obviously the paint so it's 10.3 but didn't you get to reduce that with the uh, skill so that is pretty cool the uh, other things they changed that I think is actually I like also but a ship I haven't played in a while because it kind of went to crap and then it was just basically like just an Otago, and I have an Otago. I, I really like the Otago, but it just uh, kind of took the flavor away from it that I liked, and that is the Mogami. I think uh, most of us who've been playing a while remember the Mogami with the uh, the fun pew pew guns. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and mount those on there. Get click it. There we go. Alrighty, click it, click it, real good. Alrighty. So, the turn time on these are not uh, completely atrocious now. A definite, definite increase in, uh, in turn time. A really nice, I mean, what did it go down from? It went down from 51.4 seconds to 36. 36 isn't great, but it's definitely, definitely workable. Um, especially if, uh, also another noob captain, I don't know if you noticed, I 
move my captain up and throw a, a crappy captain into the uh, the ships I've left behind. But I think it may be worth going back and uh, playing the Mogami again. Although the uh, Kutuzov probably takes the probably takes that kind of crown at the moment for being the uh, the best little pew pew uh, sneaky thing at uh, tier eight for cruisers. Anyway, we do have some uh, buffs to the turn time of uh, Fubuki, Akatsuki, Kagaro, Yugamo, Shimakaze. Um, so, I mean, that's all nice, getting nice buffs. The Admiral Hipper, Hindenburg, Prince Eugen, and the Rune uh, all have slightly more uh, bow armor. Let's go ahead and hop into the Rune if I can find it here. Boom. I did notice that this, uh, this port has a lot more of the slowdown when you go to load anything. I have play I have at 1440 and I have, I think I have the settings all the way up, but uh I do like it, but there's just, it's busy. There's a lot going on in the background, trains coming and going, the, the whistles and whatnot. Anyways, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get to this armor right now. And there we go. 27 millimeters of uh front plate armor. And what that's gonna do, that is going to uh significantly buff the survivability against light cruisers uh, so I mean that's cool that they're taking these heavy cruisers and uh, buffing them against light cruisers I, I like that uh, I mean the more I enjoy the differences more than we just you know, everything is the same it uh, so they will be with able, able to stand 155 millimeter um, up to 155 without uh, IFHE, so that's pretty cool. I like that. The Des Moines, holy crap, I don't have a Des Moines, but man, they uh, buff the snot out of that bow on the uh, Des Moines. I mean, we see people do it all the time. You would like just, like, why Why are you going to do it for the Des Moines, too? It doesn't make too much sense. Um, yeah, I don't know. You're going to see a ton of bow in Des Moines. It's just kind of silly. And on to the next thing, the next very exciting thing. I actually played it, and this ship remains the uh, my Great White Buffalo. If I can find the stupid thing, oh man, no Tech Tree. I just stop looking down here sometimes. Just go to Tech Tree, and there it is. Yes, the Turpits. For a good ship, I know have good games in the Turpets. Ever. Never do I have good games. There's always just terrible games. I do something stupid. Um, I have terrible teams. It's just something like that. When I do good, I have just completely terrible teams. Or or I just completely potato in the Turpets. And potatoes and Turpets, they don't go together because it's not Irish. Um, so there's, we got that going for us. But anyways, on to what the buff is. They buffed the secondaries uh, from the stock five, five and a half, no, four and a half kilometer range to the seven kilometer range, and uh, a, a ray of sunshine beam down from the sky, and everything is even more amazing with the turpits. But obviously, I'm going to potato in it uh, like an Irishman. So it really kind of, kind of take away, takes away from the Bismarck right here a whole lot in a big way because I mean that's what the Bismarck had going for it so I mean the only thing the Bismarck has this doesn't now is um, the uh, the sonar the hydroacoustic search which is a big thing but if you have the right skills you can completely mitigate a lot of things like this I mean I could certainly switch this out for target acquisition so I can see torpedoes farther away I could also go for the uh, incoming torpedo alert that would also be a big huge buff I mean you have 25 percent buff in a a, uh, I think it was a 20% buff on that one if, I, if I'm if i thinking right. 20% uh, and a 25. So yeah, that was, I mean, if you can see torpedoes that far away, I mean, you're, you're out into the uh, two kilometer range on almost all the torpedoes. So that's kind of, uh, kind of, kind of, yeah, you can make up for the weakness of this, of the turpets by having the right skills. Anyways. I just think it's a really big buff. I like it. I have it. Paying to win has paid off for me. So, going on to the next thing. Um, what else we got? The new port, obviously. We were talking about that. A whole bunch of technical updates that aren't very interesting. And that is about it. Uh, I don't know if y'all have seen it. They, they released, I think, or it came out on Yield Internets on the YouTubes of... Uh, 
a time lapse of them making all the renderings for the hood, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I, I think it was Wargaming. I don't recall now. Competence is not guaranteed, and I'm not achieving it. Anyways, that is everything about the update. Uh, as far as in the port, let's go ahead and hop back into the baguette game and talk about that. Also, uh, replays. I want to touch on replays momentarily. And, uh, all right, let's go to it. All right, and we're back three hours later. Not back as quick as I thought I was going to be to get this done. But anyways, replays. Here is a replay. Uh, and I've been having this problem a lot. I've had uh, several, well, a lot of folks send in uh, what looked to be really, really cool replays recently. And uh, they just get completely ruined. And uh, nobody's having any fun. And it's uh, it's it's coming up. It's just oh, it's so terrible. I really really wish they would actually offer replay support. That's why I'm putting this in here. They need to support replays. They need to keep it up to date and stop this. That's what we get. There's nobody around them. There's nobody hitting them. But you get that noise <laughs> through the entire replay. Just, just soak it up. It's a bad noise to begin with. Twenty minutes, minutes of that is not <laughs> acceptable. Anyways, on to the baguette. Um, French cruisers. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's terrible playing a tier one cruiser uh, near, near the, uh, the first day of the patch. Anyways, just because that's all there is. I mean, there's a few black swans, a Hermlin or so in here. It's mainly just baguettes, uh, and these ships are just, uh, they're completely paper. I mean, it's, it's tier one, so you don't expect too much, but man. And yeah, I don't know, just uh, hopefully it gets better when I get to tier five, and there's a citadel that you get with some HE. That's always a, a bit funny in my opinion, but man, these things. I'm glad I only had to play one match in this. I played two in the uh, in the uh, tier two two ship uh, to get past it, but ugh. I'm kind of I'm kind of getting tired of the whole grind up uh, grind up this ship line. I could completely avoid this because I have 622,000 free XP, but I'm trying to save it up for the uh, Montana. But now I'm like, do I even really want to, or do I actually want to get to a place in Tech Tree that's fun? And they even get citadels when they run away. And those are the French ships for you right there. I really feel like they kind of, they already kind of covered the area that the French cruisers are kind of sitting at with the uh, the Russian cruisers. I, I kind of feel like it overlaps a bit, but you know, speed boost, that's nice. But on to more important things, and that is the Tirpitz. Decked out to be a full secondaries. That's that's way more important. Let's uh, adjust the volumes on some of these sliders. So I'm watching I'm watching this uh, before I've actually rendered it, so it's not exactly the best thing, but I'm trying to make commentary. Anywho, and here is happiness uh, now in the uh, turpits. Even though it makes me overextend even more into my game with in the turpits goes even more sideways um, than I care. It, it's still worth it. It's still fun. I still like it because I get to fire off my secondaries. <laughs> That's the entire goal with the German uh, battleships now. Nothing else matters as long as I get to fire my secondaries. It's okay. It's like the dog, uh, you know, sitting in the. Uh, oh man, I was I'm, I was about to explain a meme, but that is a rule that you don't break. You don't explain memes. I'm sorry. I apologize. It was a funny meme though. And that, we're just going to leave it at that. Anywho, but this is alright. Let's just dive into it, kill this guy, get our secondary hits, and be happy. And that's the end for our point. Even though, completely overextended. And it really seems like it's something that's been bothering me too. People in this game have, are be even more passive as you take time away from the game. You come back, it's like... Were, were these people always this uh, completely afraid to get their pixel ship shot? And specifically, I'm speaking about the people who are in A right now. 
Uh, I don't really understand why they're there and they're still going around it. I mean, they're a battleship. Are they hunting a destroyer or are they just completely uh, oblivious to the direction they're going and there's no enemies over there? I don't know. <laughs> but there's a kill. That was, uh, appreciate it. 70 secondary hits. Worth it every single time. And I'm on fire now, but that's all right. Going around this corner too close. Shot down an airplane. Everything is okay. Anywho, trying to get close to here to mitigate some uh, incoming fire and trying to turn out of the way and get out of here and try to get to regain some health. But there we go. There's a surprise French cruiser. <laughs> uh, yeah. And the uh, the French folk finally get a bit of revenge in a, in a ship game. There we go. Hopefully you all enjoyed. See you all next time.